of the 1969 Mustang Coupe Restoration Project. Here we go on the 69. Planning on paint today, and of course, it's raining. We got humidity through the roof, which is going to delay us a day to get all this moisture burned out of the air before we spray down that darn primer. Jeff, it hasn't rained in like, you know how long it's been since it's rained, so I don't know what to say. But we're going to focus on the calipers. I think we can, do, we can do the high heat paint on the calipers, get those done, do all the masking and prep, and we're going to have to paint tomorrow because this is just too darn moist in the air. The humidity is too high. So, welcome to another day with the 69. Glad you guys are watching. It's the crew again. See, there's the hot babe. we got a, we got a hot babe in our videos. It's not just guys. And guys, we've learned that we've got 7% women watching now, so... I'm giving credit to Ricky because he's the one that's not wearing the shirt. I, I don't wear a shirt, but I'm 47, so I kind of feel like they're probably watching the 16-year-old. So welcome, women. We're glad you're watching. Give us feedback. Let us know if you're a woman and you're watching these videos, why are you watching these videos? I think it's because of Ricky. I, I could be wrong. So we're off driving. We're getting uh, tape and paper to mask off the car, although it's pouring rain in, I mean, pouring rain in Palm Springs. And we are going to get pick up those calipers, and we're going to paint them. And hopefully, they, we might have to heat dry them with our heat gun, and then uh, get those brakes on to get them out of the way. We think we found uh, the solution to the rattling window problem. There's more missing parts inside this door. Here, take a look. Well, I'll do a little shout out to Ricky B002 for giving us this information. Thank you. This is what makes Mustang Medic so special. Uh, he told us about these uh, part, this part. And we let Jeff know about it. He's getting it. And we also suspect it's possible that this also window bumper could be completely missing. The doors, for the most part, are empty. It's just a piece of glass with the metal rails that bring it up and down on the 69. We're trying to figure out where that connects to. But it's another piece of the puzzle for the rattling window. So off to get the calipers. Also, uh, we were getting an electronic ignition that we are going to put into the distributor cap. But we found this full distributor, and it was only ten dollars more than buying than purchasing the um, addition to the old distributor. So Jeff's getting a brand new distributor um, for his electronic distributor for his '69 installed shortly. Okay, so our client has decided to go red on the brake drums and the brake calipers. So here's the new calipers that we received from CarQuest. Um, I think they were about 70 bucks with the cores, so those blue calipers that we had, we tra basically gave them the cores and we got them out for, I think, 70 bucks. And the brake drums, we are going to sand down and paint um, 500 degree high heat red. Sorry for the shaking, guys. Too much caffeine today. And we're going to use gasoline to clean up these calipers to cut the oil film that's on them. Be careful. When you get new calipers, there's an oil film that won't allow the paint to stick. So... You cut it with gasoline and then purple power and then do a light sanding and then mask off all the grease fittings and everything. Uh, actually, that's not the grease fitting. That's a, a bleeder hole. Because we get to bleed the brakes again. Yay! <laughs> My wife's laughing on that one. I'm sure you are too, Jeff. But uh, it'll be nice with a white Mustang with red calipers. I like it. I'm into it. You into it, Rick? Yeah. Rick likes it. All right going on today in the life of the 69 Mustang Coupe. Right, so Rick has already put gasoline on the calipers and you can see some of the, the paint that was on there or the oil that was on there before is coming off so that's good news for us to make sure this is going to stick when we go to paint them red. And here's the red drums. Keep in mind, with red rather than blue, it seems like you need a lot more coats of paint on here, a lot more layers of red. 
So just keep that aware if you're going to be doing high heat red. I don't know why. This is a Rust-Oleum high heat, 500 degree enamel. So red drums. Now we're masking off all the hardware on the calipers and also on the piston. And then we're going to spray these down. Okay. Brake calipers are ready. Ricky did a fantastic job. Look at this. He did everything he thought of. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Watch the outtakes at the end of this video. All right. So these are ready to get sprayed. We're going to give it first the initial coat. Going to give a second coat to the uh, brake drums. And here we go. It's important when you're spraying these not to spray too much so you don't get runny paint on your brakes. Just give it one nice little light coat and then move to the next one, let it dry, and start over again. If you appreciate our efforts and caught the vision of Mustang Medic, please make a donation for the cause via PayPal. Our PayPal email address is paypal at mustangmedic.com. Thank you. All right, so this is the details again, guys. I'm spraying on an angle so I don't get paint onto where the pads are going to be hitting. But this is the red inside lip that you see when you look underneath the car and you can see the brake jump from this side. And we're making sure that that has red paint on it. And then we're moving the calipers up because they've dried and get in the front. This is the part you see. But we're getting, actually we do a complete job and we get the entire caliper. This is going to take a whole can of red paint. It costs about 10 bucks. Uh, it's going to take a whole can of red paint and got to make sure you cover all the detail. These we're going to let dry overnight and then we're going to put them on because if we handle them today with this humidity, it's not going to work out. We're going to have fingerprints all over our paint. So they're going to sit here tonight overnight and dry. Look for a link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com Hey guys, uh, guess we're going to have a lot of outtakes in the, in the show today. Need some more decongestants. Okay, so here it is. Ricky has purple powered. He's gasoline, purple powered, and light sanded these calipers. That's what you want to do to make that paint stick on these calipers. So we're going to be spraying these red. The only thing he forgot is an obvious piece, and he's got to tape off this. Remember, this is for the uh, 71, this grounds the hood, you gotta wire wheel back.